Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, so I'm back with another Ramadan vlog. So I hope that your Ramadan is going good and peaceful inshallah. So in this video, uh, I'm just going to talk about all the Islamic uh, books that I read uh, during this Ramadan and come I'm currently reading uh, during this Ramadan. Um, so yeah, let's start. So the first book um, I'm going to talk about is uh, The Ideal Muslima. So I just got this book from a Zerir bookstore from Jubail. Um, you can uh, get in any uh, Zerir bookstore um, over the Gulf country. Uh, so before Ramadan, I just went for a shop to get uh, some Islamic related books um, to read during this Ramadan so that I can spend my Ramadan useful and knowledgeable. So this is the book which I um, bought from there. So coming to this book, this is all about uh, women, Islamic women, like how Islamic women should be in this society. So how our Sahabis were there back then? So what our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam um, taught our Sahabis back then? So it is all about that. The author has covered every um, hadith and Quran verse related women in this book. So I just love the way the author has arranged it logically, uh, the hadith and the Quran verse. That is uh, starting from the basics to the most important hadith. That is of how is the connection of the believing women with her God and with her um, her and her responsibilities on prayer, zakat. Um, her husband, her parents, and society, and a lot more. So the author has mentioned the source of the hadith too. So you can check it out whether the hadith is authentic or not. So yeah, which is really good. Just do not believe all the hadith that is in circular all around the world. Just make sure whether it is authentic or not. So yeah, I just highly recommend this book to all the teenagers because teenagers where we lose control and we uh, get to choose the wrong direction. We just get attracted to this shaitan's direction. So, um, so I just wish that all the uh, mother around the world should give this book to their daughters so that you can teach and guide them to the right Islamic uh, way of living. So this is such a beautiful book. I just get to know, um, I'm just gaining a lot of knowledge about our religion, um, about how Islamic women should be from this book. So yeah, uh, this is so good. So coming to the next book is uh, The Quran and the Modern Science, Compatible or Incompatible by Dr. Zakir Naik. So... Who doesn't know Dr. Zakir Naik? So everyone, Muslims, non-Muslims, everybody knows him. I just like to watch his uh, uh, speech. He's just, mashallah, just intelligent. Yeah. Mashallah, Allah has blessed him with lots of knowledge. So this is a book written by him. So this book is for everybody, Muslims, non-Muslims, who believe in science, who doesn't believe in science. So everybody all over the world. So you can just read this book. Um, so have you ever wondered why do people convert their religion? Hmm. It's because they believe more of a science and logical way of living than those superstitious uh, belief that most of us has today. So I just strongly believe words of our uh, great ever scientists uh, our history had, that is Albert Einstein. So what he has quoted is, the more I study science, the more I believe in God, which is so true. So if you want to get to know what our uh, uh, science says, what our scientists are discovering, just get, just get to know Quran with full understanding. So uh, read your Quran in your language, in your own language. So Quran has been translated almost in every language. So uh, um, this is the uh, Tamil Quran which I read. 
um, this has Arabi as well as uh, Tamil meaning in it so which is very useful so you can read Quran in English too so I'll link um, uh, English Quran Tamil Quran everything in the description box below so you can get it online too just get to know what uh, what Allah is saying the sad current reality is one who is reverted to Islam has more knowledge about Quran than than us which is really sad so uh, Dr. Uh, Zakir Naik has uh, um, covered almost uh, um, 70 to 80 percentage of Quran related to science he has proved it what the Allah has uh, said uh, 1480 back is what the scientists are discovering now remaining uh, 20 to 30 percentage is full of Iman which we have on our God so what is Iman it is uh, our belief our pure belief which we have on Allah so just read this book uh, to get to know uh, the signs that our Quran already has so next I wanted to know more about our beloved Prophet so I have ordered his uh, biography online which I haven't even received so I'll just uh, it has a good ratings um, I'll just uh, link the book in the description box below you can go and check it out so next how I um, uh, spend my Ramadan is by hearing lots of bayan uh, by Islamic speakers so my favorite Islamic speakers are uh, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, Norman Ali Khan, Mufti Meng Norman Ali Khan and Mufti Meng are my most favorite so I'll, I'll just get a uh, peace of mind when I get to hear their uh, speech they are my most favorite and then Yasmin Mohaged Mohaged I don't know how to pronounce it then uh, um, Suleiman Omar Suleiman Omar Suleiman so I'll watch their videos a lot on YouTube during Ramadan so here I'll just end my video with the beautiful hadith which I read from this uh, uh, book Ideal Muslima which is uh, which is about our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so yeah so uh, this is the hadith from Bukhari and uh, Sahih Muslim so what is the hadith is I begin the prayer intending to make it lengthy but then I heard a child crying so I shortened my prayer because I know the stress facing the mother because of his crying subhanallah just just this hadith just makes me happy so once our prophet wasalam, has thought of uh, making the prayer lengthy as much as possible so then he hears the child one of the women's child crying so immediately he just shot in the prayer subhanallah just uh, look at the concern of a beloved prophet wasalam, in his heart for that unknown woman just amazing because he knows the stress the mother faces when um uh, when her child is crying so he she cannot even concentrate on her salah just look at the concern of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so yeah so we have reached the end of our ramadan which is like little qadr just make use of it in every possible way because allah is saying the night of al qadr is better than a thousand month that is worshiping allah during the night of Al Qadr is like worshiping him for thousand months that is 84 80 sorry 83 years and four months which is amazing subhanallah just um, give more zakat read more Quran read more hadith ask forgiveness so yeah I hope this video is useful for you all. See you all on my next video. Bye guys.